I got good news and I got bad news. Hello people of the interwebs. Today I am at a junkyard to get some more parts for restoring my Graham's 1994 Ford Ranger 4x4. If you're new and you want to get caught up to the project, up above my head is a link to things you find in trunks of cars at a nursing home. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I have a Charlie here with me today because he's going to help me track down these parts. People expect me to be funny at the beginning of these videos every time, but the reality is I'm kind of a moron and sometimes the things I say just are dumb and not funny at all. There's a little Triumph TR7 here and a 63 CJ8. That's pretty cool. And this Dodge... I can't for the life of me remember what the Dodge is, but it, it's a... Like whatever the Chrysler Newport or like the New Yorker or the big, big gigantic car. But the Dodge version? Oh, we got a fire chicken. Yeah, oh, it's a Trans Am. My mom had one of these when I was growing up. It was really cool getting dropped off at third grade in one of these. I like this body style, except the earlier ones. The front bumper was hideous. I like the, was it like 98 to 02 or 9902? The front bumper looks better. I think that was pretty much when they switched over from the LT to the LS engine in those cars, is when the front bumper looked better. Yeah, I, I'm here to get Ranger stuff, but I can't help it. I love going to junkyards because there's just so many interesting things to see here. So many cars I just wish I could save. A Mighty Max! I love these. These are one of my favorite videos to film. It's videos in a salvage yard. All right, a B2500. I remember they had the Troy Lee Designs version of this. It was like black and had some graphics down the side. I liked those. Those were cool. Junkyards in Arizona epic because most of the stuff in here doesn't have any rust on it oh it's a little escort is it oh it's a four-door ugly these and the two-door the gts are kind of cool there's another one there was an SVT and another contour one here last time I was here. there was a svt contour yeah it's probably still here because i recognize a lot of these cars just because i'm here to get stuff for a ranger is why i'm highlighting a lot of ford stuff but don't worry I like all makes and models of cars, so I'll try to capture some other stuff. I ventured over to the General Motors area. It's a Camaro. Oh, it's a convertible, huh? Hmm. Probably a six cylinder, too, I bet. It's a V8. V8 convertible Camaro. So, Lincoln Mark 8. These things have the Mach 1. Kind of. Yeah, it's Old, the same. Kind of. Technically, it's the same as the 96 to 98 Cobra engine. Oh, okay. They're the B heads, quote unquote. All right, gotta get a Ranger. This is an older one. I love this body style. My dad had one of these when I was growing up with a 2.9 V6 in it. Exploders. Those flares are different. Oh, this Exploder, V8 Exploder, might have similar hardware. All right, found a Ranger, and I don't think I want anything. Holy shit. Yep, I'm not, no. I don't want to get some crazy disease. That thing is like a pack rat hoarder's dream like some i mean some animals might pick up human traits that's a hoarder pack rat ranger here you go there's not much left to this ranger a ranger with a manual transmission and four-wheel drive really so i get hardware off of it mm -hmm. and the ac box looks like trash on it but with half a flare there's gonna be hardware on that i gotta oh there's a backpack in the back i gotta get the hardware off the transmission and transfer case on this thing because my hardware is pretty gnarly, so I want to take this hardware and get it zinc coated. So, oh, the drive shaft is tacoed. This thing is a death trap, though, waiting to happen. Charlie lost the game of rock, paper, scissors, so he gets the, the shitty job. <laughs> I get stuck with all the shitty jobs. <laughs> I'm going to try to get this hard. Well, this is the delicate job, Ow. so this one matters. I really hate sticking my head up in here because I don't know what kind of spiders live in this vicinity. Success! I'm getting shit in my hair. There is what I came for right here. These little things. I need these guys. And then up here, 
there's longer ones like this. This and this are what hold the flares on. This one's slightly curved. Actually, no, this is a straight one. Good. I needed more of these straight ones. Geez, people say old cars, oh, they're built tougher, they're stronger, better in a crash. Yeah, my ass. This is gonna be a quick shotgun approach, but I'm gonna go through this place and find all the cool cars that stand out. Interesting to see this in here. I like these CRZs. Ooh, EK hatchback. No way, it's kind of clean too. That's crazy. The front of it's kind of boned. Is that 200 SX or a Sentra? Oh, rad. Check out those bends on the end. That's dope. The SC400, oh, it's wrecked hard in the front end. Yikes. Oh, whole first gen CRX, cute. And an RX-8, this RX-8 is actually really clean. Another RX-8, man, it's a newer one too. It's a post facelift car, sad, sick. It's a little Datsun or is it a Nissan? It's a Datsun pickup. That's cool. Oh, it's right next to a hard body D21. Is this a Land Rover? It is. Discovery. That's sad. This looks like someone's little overlanding rig and just ended up in here. Ooh, I saw that. G20T poking out of the corner. Next one, another RX-8. Seriously. This thing is super complete too. Man, if you're restoring an RX-8, there is plenty of them in the junkyard for parts. This is hilarious. Everyone in Australia will laugh at that. <laughs> cactus Auto. This Forester definitely is Cactus. The Saab SUV, these are super rare. Is it the V8? Vortec 4800. Another Fire Chicken. Another F-Body. V6. I completely lost Charlie. I imagine he's going to be over near the Crown Victorias or F-150s. Called it. I was like, he's near the Crown Victorias or F-150s. Yeah. Do you find anything you want? Nope. Not a thing. Really? Nervous. Nothing at all? There's no light blue door panels. And there's no double din radios. What about a navigator with the 4Cam V8 in it? I'm not pulling heads off one of those today. That's crazy. It's a Taurus. A newer Taurus. Probably had a 3.5 EcoBoost in it, that's why it's gone. Shout out to Tucson Pull and Save for having a sink with hand soap at a junkyard. That is awesome. Well, it's uh, not much parts, but it's important parts. That's so cool. They made carts out of spare donuts and rebar. <laughs> it's so creative. By far, my favorite junkyard I've ever been to before. It's super clean. That's what I like about it. And there's a high turnover of cars. These people are awesome. That's what I call a successful junkyard haul. It's a couple days later. I just got back from filming the new Hummer EV. There'll be a video coming on that soon once the embargo lifts. Before I left though, I soaked this thing in brake free where it was heavily corroded to see if it would help. And you know what? It actually looks like it did. It looks like that brake free ate away at the galvanic corrosion that was on the transmission. In no way, shape, or form does what I'm about to do make any sense. It looks like it's working, and I'm just going with that. <laughs> I'll just leave it there. All the bolts that came off that junkyard truck are to replace all this hardware that is crusty, and like the bracket, all that stuff. And then all these things over here that are nasty. I have another complete transfer case that I'm gonna harvest that stuff off of. I would just use this, but this has got a ton of miles on it, and that would mean I'd have to swap the guts over from mine to this, so it's not really worth it. Fred's been hard at work on the Ranger. This is why you haven't seen the cab in a while, because it's a big process to get rid of all this rust. Yeah, so essentially we're like getting it ready to be like a home for squirrels and other small like mammals and stuff. And I didn't want the paint on there because, you know, it's like chemicals and whatever. So um, we 
and wanted to make sure that they had a nice safe environment for them to, to live in. So we're stripping all the paint off of it and we found some rust and stuff. And um, I gotta get rid of the rust too because rust is, is harmful, right? Squirrels don't like rust. Squirrels don't like rust. So I gotta strip all the rust out of it and everything. And then, yeah, it should be good to return to the earth. You know? It already tried once to return. And um, now we're just helping it along. That's, thank you, sir. Good. I let it sit for a little while. I'm gonna take the aluminum brightener to it and some degreaser and see what happens. I'm down to my last resort now. The only thing I have left that I haven't tried is Easy Off Oven Cleaner. I've literally used every chemical I have, scrubbed multiple times. I've been at this for like going on two hours now, so. I let this sit and dry, and this is what it now looks like after throwing every chemical I had at it. The aluminum casing itself is nice and clean and uniform looking, and the areas that had the heavy corrosion it's still there, but it's a lot less than it was. But it's still not good enough, at least to my standards. So, I have another trick up my sleeve. This is an escalation. And some of these are suggestions that you all have left me in the comment section. I got muriatic acid for swimming pools. I don't know how that's used with swimming pools. I've never had a swimming pool before in my life. I'm not that high society. Anyway, uh, it's also the next day and the last day in this video. And yes, the review of the CT5V Blackwing will be coming up. I need to tip this thing on its side. Oh, this thing's heavy. Oh, this is super heavy. This stuff absolutely scares the shit out of me. I don't know if I have proper gear to even use this. I don't have a change of clothes here. I'm gonna try the brush first. Let's see what this little brush and my drill will do. I'm gonna try this dry real quick, then I'll try using some liquid with it, but I just want to try multiple different ways first. I mean, this stuff is dry and flaky, so. Let's try this area right here. I mean, kind of? It's not getting hot. I made some PPE, so now I'm safe-ish. Double gloves, plastic, face shield. So give this a shot. I'm gonna use this area right here. This seems to be the worst spot on the entire transmission. I got good news and I got bad news. Good news, it works. Bad news, I have major swamp ass now from wearing this stupid suit. <laughs> I did that little spot right there and it looked like this before I started. So, I, yeah, I think this is gonna work. So this is what it looks like now after spending a good part of this afternoon going over this transmission multiple times. I didn't even record all of it just because I felt like it was getting so repetitive, but it's better. There's still some areas around here where it just still was so thick that I couldn't get it all off of there. 
I spent most of my time on the underside with the muriatic acid because that's what you're gonna see when the truck is up on the lift. So the part you just saw from the top angle, that's where the worst of it is. I wanted to show you the, the worst of what was still left there. But once I get all this stuff swapped out from the other transfer case and re-zinc coat the hardware, I think this will look a lot better. It's not perfect, but this truck isn't gonna be perfect either. There's gonna be little defects here and there. It's a 28 year old Ford Ranger that spent its life in New Hampshire. I have to have reasonable expectations considering what that transmission looked like when I first started. And I'm not a full on restoration shop. I don't have vapor blasters or all those crazy equipment that will make that look brand new. The next video you see on the Ranger, I gotta finish up a bunch of little things. I wanna try to get the exhaust mounted, the transmission in there. There's not a lot of work left to go of buttoning things up before I drop the cab back on the truck once the engine bay is repainted. So I need to make sure that I don't forget anything because that's gonna suck once I have the cab in place. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another. Bye.